I've been helping people with money for more than 20 years. But no one stumped me more than the princess. I think everybody should be able to spoil themselves and pamper themselves. I like to go out and have champagne, four or five course meals. I like to buy new clothing and new shoes. I'm here to help this princess take control of her money and her life. Over the next six weeks, she'll live on a strict cash diet and complete weekly challenges. On the handbag front, you have a purse for $1,800. It doesn't seem like that much. If this princess has what it takes, I'll transform her from spender to saver. And I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. She can't live the same way that she's been living. I could do some serious damage in here. I really like this coat. I love it. I definitely want this one. I can never have too many little black dresses. No changes, no money. Oh, 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 she's a princess. She's a princess. Meet Princess Lee. My name is Lee. I'm 33 years old, and I'm a designated beauty advisor. Translation, this princess sells cosmetics in a high-end department store. She lives in the swankiest part of town, just a short walk from work. I kind of like how they call it the Rodeo Drive of Toronto. It's a very central location. I like to go out and have fun, have dinners, drink. And she surrounded herself with friends who admire her luxurious lifestyle. She has a certain aesthetic where she holds her head high. She's a little bit more like a queen. When it comes to fashion, Leonie buys the best designer brands. I think my biggest weakness for shopping has to be shoes. I look at them as a necessary luxury. Her idea of, you know, Acceptable clothing is uh, above and beyond most people's. Love it. I definitely mm. want this one. Gucci is all I can afford. What you're wearing, what you have, that's very important to her. There you go. I spend most of my money on actual skincare. So be $195 today, okay? Thank you. Lee's as comfortable at spending money as she is at racking up debt. Yes, I live paycheck to paycheck, just moving money around from one account to the other so that I'm making my payments. She has always had a problem, I think, with money. It always seemed to run through her fingers. Not only is Lee's debt increasing, but things aren't going well at work, and her salary is shrinking dramatically. I was making over $70,000, and you know, times got tough, then my job changed, and then I'm looking at another loss this year. She has no clue how to extricate herself from this. Lee is one paycheck away from disaster. It's time for this princess to change her attitude about everything. So, we are here because it is time for us to have a good look at what other people think and for me to tell you what I think. Mm -hmm. You've had a couple of financial setbacks recently in terms of changes at work. Yes. And you've had another announcement just today. Yes. It looks like I might be facing another cut in my salary. Right. It's not pretty. You have no trouble dropping $240 sitting poolside for an afternoon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because you think that you're entitled to that? I do. I think everybody should be able to spoil themselves and pamper themselves. You're a shop girl. Mm -hmm. You don't have the resources to keep up with the people that you are keeping up with. I just, you know, I'd like to find other ways to cut back on expenses and still be able to enjoy some of these things. Let's look and see what Daddy has to say. Maybe I'm like every parent. Uh, I'd like to think that she's capable of doing more. I I'm assuming she's debt-free now other than her credit cards. And what's, what is that about? I realize that he doesn't really know what's going on. Let's hear it from your sister. I think that uh, describing her as being somewhat lost right now would be a, a fair assessment. My greatest fear for Lee. Um, I don't know, to put it into words. She can't ever put it into words, but she's very afraid for you. I want to ask you an important question. I want you to think about this, okay? When the clear eyes and the beautiful skin are gone, what will be left? Yeah, that was a bit of a, a reality check. I'm going to show you the black and white of your numbers so you can see just how deep in doo-doo you are. I brought in Lee's sister, father, and mother to take a look at the numbers. <gasps> I felt a sense of relief. I actually expected my debt to be a lot higher. Denial, denial, denial. 
I think she still has a long way to go to accept reality. It doesn't feel like that much right now to me. This is actually 17.5 uh -huh. with a question mark because you potentially owe taxes. Do you know that the tax man can actually go into your bank account and take your money and then you wouldn't have the money to pay the rent? Okay, you cannot owe the tax man money. Mm -hmm. You have almost $4,900 on a credit card on which you are paying $47 a month. Of that, $37 is going to interest, which means that it'll cost you $18,000 in interest. You are saving absolutely nothing. You're spending 23% of your income on debt repayment. You are spending 39% of your income on your needs, on your wants. You're spending 63% of your income. Add up those percentages and tell me what you get. Uh, more than 100. 126% of your income and still no savings. Are any of you guys surprised at this? I'm flabbergasted. I thought I was doing a little bit better than that because I thought I was just kind of keeping afloat. Yeah, you're not keeping afloat. I know, I'm thinking. Okay, let's see where some of that money has gone. On the handbag front, you own five designer bags worth over $4,000, including a purse for $1,800. <gasps> On the clothing front, you have 19 designer dresses worth $10,115. She always says she doesn't have anything to wear. And you have over 20 pairs of designer shoes ranging in price from $350 to $950 each for a total of $11,058. That takes care of the shoes. When we add up the retail value of these things, we're up to $25,000. $383. You're currently making about $3,092 a month, which works out to about $45,000 a year. To live the life that you're living right now, you'd have to have an income of $72,000. I used to have that. And to have the lifestyle and pay down the debt, you'd need to be making $91,000 a year. <sighs> Paying for your excess with credit, you're going into debt to the tune of about $10,000 a year. I figured as much. Is this what you want from the rest of your life? No. If you do the challenges that I ask you to do and you have the right attitude, when we get to the end of all of this, I will give you up to $5,000 towards one of your goals. Okay. You're gonna have to learn to live within your means. We're gonna have to deal with that wonky perception that it's okay to spend this kind of money. And you're gonna have to wake up to how the real world lives. And are you guys gonna help? Not with money. Perfect answer. Did you bring your credit cards and your debit cards with you? I did. Okay, before you leave here today, they're gone. This week, you will have $160 to work with. Coming up. I'm definitely nervous. This is a lot to take on in one week. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Lee's a princess who thinks she's a queen. For all those fails, I often think about what the queen would do, and I think her answers usually have another gin and tonic. <laughs> to help her tackle her issues with spending and debt, I've cut off Lee's access to credit for six weeks. Now she's living on cash. If she completes my challenges, I'll give her up to $5,000 towards her debt. Lee lives in one of the most chic neighborhoods in town, but she pays a high price. The apartment she has, um, she can't afford. I think she's had five or six different roommates trying to keep that apartment. If being debt free is Lee's goal, she's going to have to consider finding a cheaper place to live. You are totally married to where you live. Right. Right now, you have no freaking extra money. I know. You're barely squeaking by on your budget. Your income changed, but your spending habits didn't. Right. If you find your circumstances change even more, you will need a backup plan. So this week, she's house hunting. Ooh, carpet. I was having an attack when they changed part of my flooring from Brazilian rosewood to jojoba. I love the area. I could still walk to work. There's more space than what I'm used to having. Cozy little living room. Definitely bigger than my bedroom. I won't be able to roll my heels inside. This place is really scary. No amount of money in my bank would justify me moving out here. It's just awful. 
I just don't think she gets that she's not entitled to live the way she thinks she is. I really don't think she gets that yet. I definitely want to stay where I am right now. I don't see it as being that much of a savings, especially once I factor in the cost of the transit and the move itself. The final part of Lee's challenge is to tackle years of unpaid taxes. To do this, Lee needs her sister's help. It's easier for my sister to watch the hills, you know, go shopping than do her taxes. She's perfectly skilled at math. She just doesn't have the patience. June's always been Lee's biggest critic, and it's not going to be easy to change that dynamic between them. This will be a challenge not only for Lee, but for her sister. Okay, so line 101. That's easy enough. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You didn't read what that says. Do you think you're entitled to earn money as an old age person? Feel like it. <laughs> Other deductions. What? Maybe you should read the guide. Why don't you just tell me? I'm trying to help you. Why do you want me to read something if it's not important to what I'm doing right now? It's like a treasure hunt for money that I owe. She's the right brain sister and I'm the left brain sister. This is like making me paint. Is Two to 20 right there? No. Oh. If you had property that you sold at a gain, like shares or real estate. Like if I sold a pair of my shoes, would that count? <laughs> the most important thing about doing your taxes is getting them in on time. If you're expecting a refund, the sooner you get your money, the better. Even if you owe money, filing on time means you'll minimize your taxes. And so we come to your give back challenge. I want you to have a brush with how people actually live when they make your income. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you to a food co-op to work, uh -huh. and you're gonna see what people have to eat. Coming up. I'm confused. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Princess Lee is used to the very best of everything. My cotton. My deodorant. It's your face cream cost. $500. And she's got the debt to prove it. It's actually seventeen five. If she completes my challenges, she can walk away with up to $5,000 to get that debt paid off. What's your daily spending allowance, would you say, um, if you were to add up your cost of groceries and entertainment? I don't know what that actually looked like. So how would you know whether you were spending too much or too well, little? this is the thing. I recognize now that I was spending too much because the debt was piling up. Right. So we've got just over 50 bags in here, and we said they were about $35 each, so we're well over $1,500. So how many shoes would this be worth? Two or three pairs. Two or three pairs of shoes. Don't look at my shoes. No, they're, they're great <laughs> shoes. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a bag okay. and pack one of each bag. All right. A raisin. And then we have some and juice boxes. Some juice. A pack of oatmeal. Where's the rest of the stuff? Like you can't sustain yourself on jello and oatmeal. One of the things that food banks do is provide supplementary food for people to add to the food that they're already using in their own homes. After taking care of their essential expenses, Food bank users have an average of just over six dollars a day for food. It's a little embarrassing to think about, you know, the kind of money that I spend on shoes and how much food that that could offer someone who has nothing. Lee's new budget allows $160 a week for variable expenses, including $55 for food. So this was my weekly budget. That means there will be less shopping at that boutique market around the corner from her apartment and more trips to the discount grocer. I was able to eat and get transportation and uh, still have this money left over. So I wrote down the dates every time I dipped into my little envelope of $160. That's usually like my whole day's budget for food right there. See? The grocery store, that was really hard. Or like basically everything that, you know, I was buying on sale was sold out. And I had a moment of weakness and I had a slice of pizza. I'm going to be eating a lot of rice and beans <laughs> and hanging out by myself. <laughs> Over the last few weeks, Lee has been working hard to refrain from spending frivolously on designer dresses and shoes. Now it's time for her final challenge. So what was the big lesson when you were working at the food bank? For me, I think it was really about trying to prioritize between shoes and food. <laughs> Did you know that for food, some families have to live on $50 a week? Mm -hmm. It's a frightening situation. Yeah. Yeah. 
you have been using credit to supplement your shopping. If you're actually living on what you make, you might only be able to afford that. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready for your next challenge? This is your temptation challenge. Okay. Here is $1,000. This is coming off your check at the end. You do what you want with this. But what am I shopping for? What do you need? Oh, you know, just a few weeks ago, I would have been so excited about this money. I would know exactly what to do with it, but like, I'm confused. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know, as far as things that I want, $1,000 doesn't even begin to cover it. Oh, this is super cute. This is totally me. Oh, and 40% off. I could get a lot of those for $1,000. <laughs> I could get like 10 pairs of jeans for the price of one. Size six. I'm gonna need like a size 600 then. Hi. How are you? You have a minute to talk? Without a clear direction for this challenge, Lee calls her sister June for help. I'm calling you for advice. Hey, what's up? Basically, I'm allowed to get whatever I want, but it has to be what I really want. What should I do? She said you can do anything with it. That sounds dangerous. So you think I should buy like a bunch of stuff? All right, I should get back to work here then. Thanks for your help. Okay, good luck. Bye. I'd rather have a few things that I can really use and benefit from than a whole bunch of stuff that I may or may not ever use. I could do some serious damage in here. I like it here. I kind of want to try on a coat, because I think that's something that's very practical. If I'm going to spend $1,000, of course, I can never have too many little black dresses. Maybe one of these type of coats. Excellent warmth, soft and lightweight, with durability. I really like this coat. I like the way it fits. I like the way it feels. I think it looks great. It just feels amazing. I hope this was the right decision. I really hope I understood this challenge correctly, because if not, I'm going to be totally bummed. Coming up. So you know not everybody gets all the money, right? So here's your check. Oh, 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 she's a princess. She's a princess. So far, Lee's on track to get my $5,000. But don't think I don't know that she'll go on a mad spending spree as soon as she has my check in her hot little hands. So I gave her a $1,000 advance to see what would happen. Lee struggled with temptation. As far as things that I want, $1,000 doesn't even begin to cover it. I really like this coat. This is something I definitely want. It's kind of hard to go through this whole shopping process, especially after the conversation I had with Gail this morning. I can't go out on $1,000 spending sprees anymore. I need to take responsibility and start paying back what I've already spent and start living within my new budget. And there are things I want more right now, and that includes, like, financial freedom. Bye. Before I reveal my final decision, I want to check in with Lee's family. So, have you seen a change in your girl? I think so. She talks about trying to meet her, her weekly budget with uh, the allowance she's been given. I think having done the budget, that was a bit of an eye-opener for her in terms of her finally coming to terms with the fact that she has a limited amount of money. Okay, let's see what Lee has to say about the whole progress. Welcome, Queen Lee. Come and join us. So, how do you think you did? I think I did really well. Okay, so one of the steps that you took in all of this was to find a way to reduce the costs on your debt. And one of the things you did was you got a consolidation loan. A consolidation loan allows you to repay a variety of debts with one monthly payment at a lower interest rate. With this plan, Lee will have her debt paid off in under two years. Would you have co-signed for her? I can see her saying, well, you know, I can't quite make this month, but I just wanted to let you know in advance for her. Yes. <laughs> You wish she had more faith in you right off the bat, yeah. Well, you know what? I have faith in you. First of all, things have improved at work. Perhaps it's because of my attitude and because I'm taking charge of the situation. You know, I've come up with a whole uh, goal in terms of my career. I'm glad things have gotten better at work because that was a real concern for us right going into this. Yeah. Okay. What did you get from the food bank exercise? You know, that I've put myself into this debt to the point where if I'm to pay it back at the rate that I spend it, I'm essentially living off the same amount of money as the people are using these services. That is exactly the point. <laughs> you also went shopping. I told you to do what you wanted to do. You didn't spend any of the money. You decided to use it all for debt repayment. 
I hope that's how the challenge works. Because you deferred your gratification, you get a $500 bonus. Get out. So the Christmas present budget just went up, right? Oh. <laughs> Where's that money going, Lee? Um, right where it belongs, <laughs> <laughs> my dad. Good girl. So you know not everybody gets all the money, right? Okay, so nervous. Here's your check. <sighs> you know, for a girl who has such expensive stuff, you wouldn't think this would make that big a deal. Look at you. I know for me that this has been... <sighs> It's been a big change, but I was worried that... <laughs> excuse me. It's okay. That you didn't necessarily see the changes that were taking place. I saw the change. <laughs> and I was just... I didn't know if I was doing it to, the, to that level of satisfaction, and that just makes me feel really good about what I've done so far, and... Uh... Congratulations. Thank you. You did a good job. You worked hard. And I have all the faith in the world in you. I know you are a new queen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're such a doll. There was a sense of relief when I saw that check, and then there was also this set of, sense of gratitude. I know that my parents and my sister worked so hard to support me in this whole challenge, and I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out some other way to make it up to them, because this is just, this is huge for me. It's so much more than $5,000 when she handed me that check. I can tell she loves to go shop. She's all out of control. She can't stop. Designer clothes, jewels, hair. She's throwing money everywhere. My head is spinning. Oh, 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 oh. She's a princess. She's a princess. Modern day princess.